What's up everyone, Toshi here. I'm facing this dilemma and I don't know if I should end my free play status and actually spend money on the game. Now, first of all, I, we're on the main account, right? As you all know, I said I had multiple accounts previously and I, <laughs> that is true. I do have quite a few accounts and it takes a lot of time to grind all three at the same time. But I do on this main account, right, that we're on currently, I do have Seal, Bailu, and Branya, but as you know, 1.1 patch is coming in like like 15 days at the time I'm recording this. Well, is it 15? It's like 16, right? The banner is leaving in 15. Yeah, so it's like 15 days is when the Silver Wolf banner is coming. And I really want that character like really badly. I think she's going to be really amazing. She's going to be really good to use with uh, Pela, right? So apparently, from what I heard, you can actually use Pela and silver wolf together to get even more shield or not shield but defense down on the enemy which is pretty good considering that's the only two sources of defense down we have in the game and uh defense breaking as you know is a very strong mechanic if you played other turn based games i don't really have to tell you how strong it is as a mechanic because most of you have probably played other turn based games so you know exactly what i'm trying to say here but Payla has been really nice. I've been using her a lot already with Seal, and I think she's been performing really well. The defense break sh or defense shred rather that she provides is no joke. Being able to shred defense with the ultimate is really nice. That's a 35% defense reduction. It's massive. And then on top of that, with her her uh, technique before you enter the battle, if you put this on enemy, that's another 20%, which stacks with this. So you have a 55% defense reduction before the like in the beginning of the battle. Whenever you use potato potentially which is massive. I've been able to deal a lot more damage with Seal, which is kind of how I put her in a comp anyways. I put her with, well, I can just show you the comp right now, but essentially I just have, well, not, not this comp, <laughs> not this one. Honestly, this is, well, actually, this is the same comp, but I just put Pela in it. So I have Seal, Pela, Bailu, and Branya. This is kind of the team I've been using currently in the game. Uh, yes, this is a meta slave team, but it's been performing really well. Um, one thing I noticed about Honkai Staro, at least in the beginning, is that trying to use a lot of characters is really hard. Um, <laughs> you got to use the best characters to make progress in the game, especially when, like, when it comes to things like uh, Forgotten Hall. The the enemies there have massive amounts of HP, and you know there's characters that provide you a source of you know damage reduction, a ton of healing, and a revive, which is very nice because you know I have skill issue. So I've been using Bailu a crap ton and she's just been performing really well. I really like this character a lot and I actually have no regrets for picking her up because I think she's amazing. But then there's characters like, you know, Branya, who is just a very nice buffer character. As you all know, I just always hype this character up whenever I have a chance to because she is just that amazing. I like this character a lot. Now I do have Ting Yun and you can use Ting Yun over Branya. In some situations, it probably is better to use Ting Yun over Branya. Like for instance, with Jing Wong, if you don't have like a C6 Branya, then it probably is better to use Ting Yun with Jing Wong only because Branya's elemental skill damage increase goes away after one turn, which is not good for Jing Wong, right? But Ting Yun has a two turn and then she has the damage increase as well, which is very nice for Jing Wong and it lasts more than one turn, which is pretty much what matters when it comes to Jing Wong with Lightning Ward. Anyways, I've been rambling going on tangent there, but essentially what I'm trying to say is support characters are extremely good and they usually have a long-term value in your account. Well, Silver Wolf is going to be a very nice character and she has a long-term value on your account essentially, my account as well. So one of the dilemmas I've been facing is, do I just go ahead and get this ex express supply pass and just break the free play status? Something I've been thinking about a lot. Now, I, I always want to just continue making relatable videos. And um, whenever we were to make guides in the future, let's just say we do at some point, then like consistent guides that is right now, like one guide one month and then a guy like three months later, like consistent guides on the channel. Should we just make a super solid free play approach or just being able to have a you know, the characters and essentially build up the roster to then cover more characters would be, you know, more valuable. But, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, told you, you spend $5 a year and you're not free to play anymore. So you are cringe. You spend money on a gotcha game. So there's no really, there's no winning for losing here. Honestly, it's kind of just like, maybe I just make the decision myself. But yeah, that's kind of all I want to discuss there. And I guess I've been rambling for long enough. Um, but I guess we can do a little short account review anyways while we're at it. 
So um, I'm level 37 right now, which is nothing really impressive. I know most of you are probably like level 40, 50, uh, maybe even 60, right? If you refresh every day. Uh, so I've kind of just been taking things, you know, a lot more casually, as you all know, because I have like three plus accounts. But um, this is kind of how the map is looking. I cleared all of the Bellabog series, which has been, honestly, I'll be honest with you. The only interesting part of Bellabog, to me at least, was with Hook. Everything aside from Hook really didn't interest me too much. I just like Hook a lot as a character. And I think I finally found out that Hook is a she. She has a lot of character depth, and I really like Hook a lot. Uh, I've been on the Zengshu Lofu right now. Uh, as far as I got is here in the Artisan Ship Commission. Uh, with Fu Wan, right? She sent us here. So I have to do this. And then I believe this will probably be the end of the story until we get an update. I could be wrong. Um, but this is as far as I've gotten on any account, pretty much. Uh, but I've been having a blast, honestly. And the expiration has been very good. It's not too much to where you're just like, like super, um, what's the word? Auto, uh, I don't know what I'm doing my hands. But you're like you're like auto autopilot there you go autopilot essentially it doesn't have too much exploration to where you're like that whenever you play this game but the exploration is just enough to where you actually are engaged and you're playing the game and you're enjoying every single bit of it which i really like about this game a lot now um this by no means is supposed to be like a like a this is an opinionated review of of star really and i mean like you know a lot of people might prefer the expiration of genshin which is no problem i think genshin has the best expiration in pretty much any game that is open world right and at least in my opinion uh, well skyrim is pretty good too but that doesn't really like for comparing gotcha games right like the only got tower fantasy you know fell off a cliff but yeah anyways silver wolf is going to be an amazing character and uh, I probably will go for her when she releases in about two weeks. Now that I'm recording this. Oh, there will be the live stream for the 1.1 reveal. So we'll probably go over that when that does debut, which is supposed to be Friday. So we'll be going over that patch and seeing everything that the patch has to offer. And then, of course, I will have a condensed video going over everything for all of you to consume on the channel. But aside from that, I kind of just wanted to give a quick update. Um, yeah, I have pretty long hair. Um, yeah, I also need a haircut. That's part of the reason why I haven't really been showing my face in videos because I really need a haircut. And that's, I'm kind of embarrassed to show myself looking like a caveman. I look like a fucking caveman and it's awful. So that's why I haven't been showing my face in videos. Um, but yeah, I'm still very much so alive. What's up? How, how are all of you doing? I hope you're doing well. And, um, you know, to not make this any more awkward. What character are you going for? There is Luancha and there is Silver Wolf. That's pretty much going to be all of 1.1. And then there will be more characters after that, like Kafka. And then uh, I believe Blade, right? I don't know which one is going to go before the other. Blade or Kafka, who knows? Um, but apparently Silver Wolf is supposed to be the first banner character of 1.1. And then after that's supposed to be Luancha. Which, Luancha, funny enough, is a character I'm also really interested in. Not because, believe it or not, it's not because he is, you know a XP of Honkai Impact, but because he reminds me of a character from Bleach, which is the reason why I actually want to obtain him, because he looks just like a Stern Ritter from Bleach. But anyways, this will be the video here. I've been rambling for long enough. Uh, kind of just an update to, you know, let you all know what's been going on the account. I guess I can show the weapons really quickly as a, um, to finish it up here. I did get sleep like, sleep like the Dead two times, which I was very disappointed about. I got both, I actually got both like in the same 10 pool essentially, which made me a little upset because the chances of that happening is literally non-existent. I could have got like a different five-star weapon or, you know, a new character or a dupe Branya would have been amazing. Um, but I guess I probably will use this on Den Hang, right? Because, you know, it's not a good thing to actually go ahead and superimpose a five-star weapon in this game if you're like, are free to play a light spender. It's actually awful to do that considering that weapons in this game matter more because of stats. Everything in this game essentially is a stat check, right? Again, I'm done rambling here. I can go on for long and long and long, but that's it. That's going to be the video here. Uh, let me know what character you're looking forward to, of course, in the 1.1 patch, whether it's Silver Wolf, Launcher, or maybe future characters after that, like uh, what's her name? Kafka and uh, Blade, who is also pretty damn cool. And you're watching and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.